Hey everybody, welcome to the card of the day. I apologize that I'm late. I have had the strangest, uh, I was out for a month on the road and then I came home and uh, I'm not even fully unpacked and I started tearing apart my apartment and started giving away things. I came home, uh, I won't spend too long on this chit chat. I came home to plants that somebody gave me a different plant and my plants were completely infested with uh, aphids. And which are those little gnats or little bugs or something like that. And I have big plants and I was so sad I had to throw them all out. I mean, I have big plants that are beautiful and the infestation that took place while I was gone was crazy. So I had to get rid of them and then I started throwing away everything. I don't know why. Um, so I've turned everything upside down. Uh, so I've been a little behind on things, but today, uh, next week I'll have things all together. We might go back to the Le Mans deck or the after tarot deck, but today I have to just take care of what I can and do this one eight of swords with the rider deck, which is one of two cards that has a blindfold. This card and the two of swords are the cards that have blindfolds, and whenever that comes up, especially that combination, the two blindfolds, I know that someone is not seeing things as they should be or is uh, blocking them out. That's very powerful. You'll notice the um, magician has the same thing as a headband. And on the Nine of Wands, it's a uh, bandage. But they're all sort of interesting of where that is on, on our heads. So the thing I love about this card is it's not always bad. In fact, sometimes it has to do, if you could see that, she's actually maneuvering where she's supposed to be fine, even though she's tied up. Um, so this card is when God sort of puts you in a place and saying, you just stay here right now. When the universe is kind of like, you just hang out here right now. And sometimes I feel like that is self-imposed and that is something we need to self-impose right now. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but 2019 has been very challenging and um, there's been a lot of, uh, I guess John Oliver, who I, I've always liked, did a big thing hating psychics or um, there's a lot of negativity and testing being done that way in my life and I just have to be like well I'm me and they're them and I'm not going to change what I do and I'm certainly not going to change what I do because of them so it's time to restrict the outer influences you think where that goes in your life is there somebody at work that um, affects you is there somebody that affects you negatively um, and so you think about that today and your mantra is the restriction of outer influences affecting me is a job I am ready for, okay? And I feel like this is one of those things that once you're conscious of it, it's better, okay? Because you you might be at work and there's somebody you always talk to and then you go back to your desk and like, oh, I'm depressed now. And you don't really put it together that that person may be really negative or really condescending or just their energy pulls you down. Once you become conscious of that, you don't necessarily have to cut them out. You can limit your time. You can put up energetic sheets or whatever but it's kind of like a couple people sent me the psychic thing and uh, by John Oliver and I went like 30 seconds in and I was like yep not gonna do me any good to watch this not gonna do me any good at all so I just sort of put it away somebody actually sent me a better article about a doctor that was uh, so it evens out it evens out but you kind of have to restrict that the restriction of outer influences affecting me is a job I am ready for okay you're ready to recognize it you're ready to make a note you're ready to block it or you're ready to deal with it whatever it is consciously going this person isn't working for me this news isn't working for me this whatever isn't working for me and if it could be something uh, like traffic that you just have to find a new answer for energetically but the restriction of outer influences affecting me is a job I am ready for the restriction of outer influences affecting me is a job I'm ready for you're ready for it folks go get them go build your energy and don't worry about anyone else's see you tomorrow